We're now ready to connect the thermostat and the receiver to the app. To do that, we press the power on button, which is the tip, for a few seconds. This will switch on, showing you the software version, and then ask you for the language. The language can be changed with the up and down arrows, and press the tip to confirm. It's now saying connect with the network. Once it says that, you can go to the app, press the three white lines at the top. You can either go to settings, set up equipment or equipment and add equipment. And there you can scan for what equipment. You'll see the hub has started to flash red as it's looking for new devices. It should display the thermostat and the receiver. There we have the thermostat, and we should also get the receiver. The receiver also appears. Next stage, we select both to connect, and then you get the opportunity to name the equipment. For the quantum thermostat, we're going to call house rags. On the receiver, we will call the RX10. Once you've done that, click next. Now the receiver box is set up. What we need to do with the thermostat is tell the app what the thermostat is paired to. This stage here, you have choices, select more. You can pair these thermostats to under four heating, smart TRVs, plugs, relays, extensions, receivers. As we're in RX1 mode, which is thermostats, we're going to use this as a boiler receiver. We'll select boiler receiver and next. That will update the cloud database. And then it basically says, would you like to run default schedule? For now we will and we'll have it in 24 hour format, complete the setup. Now you've got two green ticks for both, the thermostat and the receiver. Simply click finish, allow that to update, and now you'll see the thermostat, 21 degrees, 21 degrees is connected. Your hub has gone back to blue, and the red light on the receiver is a solid red. That is now all connected, ready to be used and you can adjust the temperatures either via thermostat like so you can also turn it down rather than waiting the five seconds you can just press the tip to confirm and it will do it instantly very similar to the select button on the IT800. You can also change it with the app. As you can see, both showing 21 degrees target temperature. Turn that up to 25.5. And comes on. Or press the arrow here, you will see that it's confirmed 25.5. We'll turn it back down to 13.5. Two seconds. And off it goes. And as you can see again, we're back to 13.5. So you can change it up on there, down on there, down on there, up on there, whichever way you want to do it. And it will all work in sync with each other. Once you've done this and you wish to change your settings, you can go manually, or you can do a permanent hold. 21 degrees. You can follow the schedule or you can turn the whole thing off. The settings button on the top left hand corner, which will take you through to show you that you're connected. Quantum thermostat paired with the boiler receiver and the schedule. At this point here, you can edit the schedule to 
up, down, Monday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. You can change it to a simple setup suitable for you. So when you go to my equipment, I have now got house rads, the hub, and the receiver box. I can create a group and put different items in different groups. So on the home screen, you will see the different groups together. You'll see here, if I open the RX-10, it just shows you that it's currently online, set to auto, and it's a boiler receiver, as in it's on RX-1 mode. Likewise, you can edit the name. And if you'll go back, that is everything wired, completed, and set up. This was that Statman. If you liked, please follow, subscribe, share. Hopefully you enjoy these videos. Thank you.